copying an angle. The first step is to create a new ray. I use the straight edge of my compass to make a straight line and then I will put an arrow on the right side and an endpoint on the left. Step two, I'm going to make an intersecting arc or a reference arc on my original angle. I put the bullseye on the vertex and I want to make sure the hole is somewhere that will intersect both rays when I swing it. I do not change the measurement and I transfer that same arc to my new ray. The next step, I'm going to measure the width of the original angle. It's easier for me if I turn my paper. I'm going to put my bullseye right here at this intersection where the green arc intersects this ray. I'm then going to slide the hole so that the other intersection is visible through the hole. So my bullseye is on the left intersection my hole is on the right. You don't need to make a mark here. I'm doing it just to show you where the hole is. Do not change the compass. You're going to transfer this measurement to your new ray by putting the bullseye on the intersection of the blue and green line and making an arc across the green arc. Now I will use my straight edge and I will connect my endpoint on my ray in the intersection of the pink and green arcs. This needs to be a ray, so when I'm finished, I'll be sure to put an arrow at the end.